Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be doing something different, a PowerPoint presentation guide which is related to one of my university assignments. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the topic of my presentation is conditionals, first, second and third. Subject area is English language and I target the students in grade 10, the level is intermediate. So this will be the content of my presentation. Firstly, there will be an introduction for conditionals to know what conditionals are. Accordingly, first conditional, second conditional and third conditionals will be there with definitions, discussions and activities. And also there will be a mixed activity to practice. In the end, there will be a summary for three conditionals as the conclusion. And finally, there will be a question session for your questions. For all these things, there will be 20 minutes. Okay, firstly, what are conditionals? Do you have any idea? Let's see. Basically, conditionals, and also we call them if clauses, these things are used to describe the results of a particular, a certain condition. There are two clauses in a conditional sentence, as if clause and the main clause. There are few types of conditionals, like five types of basic conditionals, but today we are going to be focusing on three common conditionals, first, second and third. First things first. Okay, let's go for the first conditional. First conditional sentences, we use them to talk about possible, real world, that means real life things which may happen in present or future. Let's look at the format. As we discussed earlier, there are two clauses in this. First one, as you can see, if clause. Here, the second one is the main clause. For the if clause, we had write like this. If plus simple present tense. And for the main clause, to the other sentence, we had to write will plus infinitive. Infinitive means the normal form of the verb. I know it's a bit complex to look at this like this, but let's go for the examples, then it will be so easy for you. Okay, let's take the most common example for this. If I work hard, I will pass the exam. So, as you can see very clearly, if I work hard, it is in simple present tense and the result will be like this. I will pass the exam. Will plus infinitive. So easy, right? So you can read the other examples too to have more clear idea about this. Okay, since you have a very clear idea about that now, let's go for an activity, a fun activity. Okay, who is this? The guy who's doing thumbs up for you? Justin Bieber, right? So, the first question is based on him. What will happen if you meet Justin Bieber? You have to write. If I meet Justin Bieber, I will what? Okay, second one. If you want me, what will happen? And third one, a bit tricky. You have to write the if clause. I have given you the main clause, so give it a try, you can do it. And I have a few tips for you for first conditionals. Always use present tense with if clause and always write the other sentence in simple future tense. And also, there is another support for you. You can watch a video which is filled with movie clips, very common, very interesting ones. They are filled with first conditional sentences. Interesting, right? So I have given you the link. You can find it out and watch. Enjoy. Okay, since you have completed first conditional now, we can move on to the second conditional. Second conditional sentences, we use them to talk about hypothetical or imaginary situations which didn't happen actually in present or future and also its consequences. So the format is like this, very easy. Like the first one, if plus, here we have to use simple past tense. 
instead of simple present tense. In this conditional, we have to use simple past tense. And for the main clause, you have to use would instead of will and infinitive. If plus simple past and for the other sentence, would plus infinitive. Easy, right? Examples. Number one, if I worked hard, past tense, earlier, if I worked hard, I would pass the exam. Can you remember the first conditional? If I work hard, I will pass the exam. And here, you have to turn it like this. If I worked hard, I would pass the exam. So, it didn't happen. So, you have to use to talk about a situation like that, these second conditionals. Okay, the second fun activity for the second conditionals. First one, oh, who is this? Another familiar guys, right? Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. So, they're living in America. So, the first sentence or the first question is about that. I am not living in America. I'm living in Sri Lanka. So, if I lived in America, what would happen? If I lived in America, I would meet Kristen Stewart. <laughs> okay, the second one for you. If you got up early, what would happen? Maybe you can write it like this. If you got up early, you would catch the bus. Third one, up to you. You had to write the if clause and I have given you the main clause. And also, here are some tips for you. So they are talking about imaginary situations in second conditionals. So we have to always use past tense with if and always use would plus infinitive in the other sentence. And again, another support, a video clip filled with second conditional sentences. And this time I thought it's, it's so great if we can get some song clips, isn't it? So here I have given you the link. You can click it and check it out. Right, another activity. Now, this is uh, something different. You have to try this. I have given you some sentences. You have to convert them from first conditional to second conditional. You got it, right? So the first one I have done for you. If you speak to your boss, he will understand. I have given you that sentence in first conditional, as you can see. If you speak to your boss, he will understand. And how you can make it or turn it to second conditional? Like this. If you spoke to your boss, he would understand. Can you understand? If you speak becomes if you spoke. And he will understand becomes he would understand. So accordingly, you can do the other two sentences. So is one minute enough? Yes, you can do it. Okay, now we have come to the third conditionals. So these sentences are used to talk about hypothetical imaginary situations again in the past, actually, which didn't happen, and also their consequences. So the format is like this. If plus had plus past participle. Basically, if plus past perfect tense. And in the other sentence, we have to use like this. Would plus have plus past participle. I know it's a bit complex to see like this, but let's look at the examples to have a clear idea. First example, if I had worked hard, I would have passed the exam. Can you remember the second conditional sentence? Which was like this. If I worked hard, I would pass the exam. Now can you see the difference between the second conditional and the third conditional? So now you can read the other two examples and make it more clear. Now again a fun activity for you based on the third conditional. So the first question, if I had known about the meeting, what would have happened? You have to write the answer. In my answer, I would say, if I had known about the meeting, I would have joined it. So accordingly, you can do the other two questions as well. And again, I have given you some tips for the third conditionals. 
So tip number one is always use the sentence with if in past perfect tense. And the second tip is make the other sentence using would have past participle. You can do it. Again, I have given you a video of a movie clip which is filled with third conditional sentences. You will enjoy it. Click this link and watch it. Finally, we have done all three conditionals and now it is the time to you to practice everything we learned. So this mixed activity is to you to recall, let's say to revise the things we learned today. So you got it. Right. I think this will be so interesting to have a summary of all three conditionals like this. Here I have given you an ultimate short note for all three conditionals. I think you can read it and understand very clearly. So the first conditional sentence would be like this. If I work hard, I will pass the exam. If you want to convert that into second conditional, if I worked hard, I would pass the exam. And finally, the third conditional. If I had worked hard, I would have passed the exam. I think this slide will be very important for you. So practice it. These are the references. And do you have any questions? If you have any questions, this is the time for your questions. So if you have any questions, Comment down below and I will answer all of your questions. So this is going to be the end of the presentation and thank you very much.